wildfires, a devastating drought, a melting snowpack, the effects of climate change playing out in California. California's motivations for being um, a leader on climate policy are clear. California has a lot at stake. The state has been a leader in the international effort to fight global warming, much as it was 70 years ago when a mysterious haze called smog spurred California to regulate air quality. In 1947, the California state legislature gave counties the power to crack down on local polluters. What is this pollution from power plants that we have heard so much about? And in 1966, California adopted the first vehicle emission standards in the nation. Its air quality standards are still the toughest in the U.S. There is a certain level of affluence and awareness in places like California. And so we're making a concerted effort to wean ourselves off fossil fuels and lead the rest of the world or set an example to the rest of the world what can be done. Democratic Governor Jerry Brown recently pledged to reduce climate emissions to 40 percent below 1990 levels within the next 15 years. The trouble with climate change, it's a bad happening rather slowly. And if we don't get it in time, it will be very difficult to turn back. That's halfway to the goal set by former Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger for the year 2050. And when leaders want to talk climate change, they look to California. Vice President Joe Biden recently attended a roundtable for green startups in Los Angeles. We have the cheapest energy in the world and will for the remainder of the century, and you guys are going to make sure that is clean energy. California is sending a delegation to the Paris Summit on Climate Change to share its expertise. California has figured out how to grow its GDP while bending down the curve of emissions, and that's part of what's been a really powerful lesson for the rest of the globe. A leading role even more critical now as California itself bears the brunt of global warming. The historic drought is parching farmers and led to mandatory water rationing statewide. With bone dry hillsides, once seasonal wildfires chew through the state year round, burning homes and costing billions. And so it's really a question of whether you want to get hit in the head with a hard ball or with a wiffle ball. And so we can have a big impact on the future. A cautionary tale California is sharing with the world. Gillian Flackis, Associated Press, Los Angeles.